This video will help you diagnose and troubleshoot your baseline soil moisture sensor that fails to recognize soil temperature. From the controller, turn the dial to the self-test position. Highlight the menu Test Single Two-Wire Device and press Enter to open the menu. Here I can test any device that's been assigned during the search and assign process. Scroll through the list until you find the device you want to test. In this case, it's Moisture Sensor 1. With the MS1 highlighted, press Enter to start the test. Moisture Sensor 1 reads 15% moisture, but it also reads 104 degrees temperature. This information tells us that the controller can communicate with the sensor, but the data appears to be incorrect. We've taken the initial steps at the controller, so it's time to go out to the field where the soil moisture sensor is installed and carefully dig it up. Be sure not to damage it though. We need to remove the sensor, but it's a bad idea to cut the wire this short. Consider removing the wire all the way back to the box where the original splice was made, saving the entire wire length. Remember that industry standards call for splices to be made in a pole box with 18 inches of slack. Taking the time now will make reinstalling the device easier later on. With the sensor out of the ground, inspect it for damage. This sensor has a damaged blade, but it may still read moisture, at least temporarily. The temperature sensor is housed in the black bicoder portion of the sensor, so damage to the blade rarely impacts temperature. Let's test the device back at the controller. Anytime you work on the two-wire path, power down the controller. Unplugging the controller, turning off the circuit breaker, or disconnecting the orange plug on the control board all can power down the controller. With the power off, I can disconnect the existing wire path from the terminals and set those aside. I'll connect the soil moisture sensor to the red and black two-wire terminals, making it the only wire connected to the controller. If you're working on a conventional wire system, you can connect the black sensor to the common and the red sensor to terminals A1, A2, B1, or B2. Those are the only conventional wire terminals that look for a moisture sensor. We'll want to change the sensor temperature before testing, and that will vary with your environment and the season. It's summer right now and the sensor seemed too high for what I expected, so I'll cool it down with an ice bath. Winter or fall might call for warming it up with a hairdryer or just bringing it into a warm room. Either way, give the sensor about 15 minutes before looking for a change. Power the controller back up and return to the test single two-wire device menu, rerunning the test on moisture sensor one. If the controller can find temperature or see a temperature change on the sensor while it's directly connected, we eliminate the device as the issue. Notice that I was able to drop the sensor temperature to 31 degrees from that original 104 degrees. This means the problem is either due to installation, the wire path, or the splices on the wire path. Was your sensor installed at the proper depth? Did it have soil touching it on all sides? These are important details for accurate data, so be sure to review the installation details that came with the sensor or look on the baseline website. If installation wasn't the issue, spend some time with wire troubleshooting. Look closely at wire splices, wire integrity, or for wire damage. If the controller couldn't find temperature or see a temperature change on the sensor, the sensor is likely the issue. For this example, the sensor still reads over 100 degrees, even while it was in the ice bath. Contact Baseline Support via email or phone to see if your device is eligible for warranty replacement.